Uh-oh. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we'll just, we'll just bring it up a little higher. Okay, hold, <laughs> hold on one second. Now I got to adjust that. Wasn't planning for that part. Can you uh, yeah. just... Yeah. Hang on. It's always fun. Just testing us. Just testing the skills. Nathan is very skilled. Is that better? Yeah. Uh, right yeah, there? that's better. You can come down a little bit if you want. I'm just trying to. Oh, people are saying crystal clear. How's that? Yeah, that's. I think that's good right there. Yeah. Except for we're crooked. We're crooked. Well, okay, we're crooked. We're, crooked. Uh, well, we'll... we're a little off. It's okay. <laughs> we're just slightly off. We're a little off still, but that's okay. That's okay. We're used to it. Oh, no. you like the tip? No, I'll just turn my head. No. To be straight. Here, anyways. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Happy Monday. How's it going? Let's start. Happy Monday. Oh, and blur again. That's all right. It's gonna. We're doing motivation what, Monday. We're doing what we can. That's okay. We, yes. um, What's wrong? You progressed to sixteen bit. <laughs> well, there you go. I'll just hi to the UK. <laughs> yes. Saying hi in all our messages. Hello to Heart. Brazil. I see a hello, and oh. Love you, Sammy. Oh. Hi, Lauren. And uh, oh, happy birth! It's happy birthday. Oh, it passed. Good to see you guys. Oh, it's happy Peru. birthday. Happy birthday week. It's Peru Independence Month. Ooh. Happy independ a month. That's cool. Uh, happy Independence Month in Peru. Happy Independence Month. Yes. Hey, I had a um, birthday today too. Just... It's Connolly's birthday today, so let's say happy birthday to Connolly. Oh, <laughs> happy birthday, happy Connelly. birthday, Connolly! Yes, twenty-nine again. <laughs> we all get to know her a lot more very soon. She's yes, amazing. yes, yes. South yes. Africa. Hi from Texas. Hello from Germany, Switzerland. Did I say that right? This is hopefully uh, Colombia. So uh, many countries heard from. So many Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 4 a.m. In, in Oz uh, right now. And, and somebody is up and they can't sleep. Well, you know, this is a good place to be. That's right. That's right. That's right. And as tired as Kyla looks, she'll probably help you to go to sleep here soon. I'm going to try. <laughs> Puerto Rico, right. Israel. Puerto Rico. Yes, you're better at that than I am. Yes. Argentina, El Paso. This wow. is awesome, everyone. Yeah. This is awesome. It's nice to be back on a lot. Australia. Yes. Maryland. Maryland. Malaysia. This is cool. Yeah. Shandy, are Malaysia, you on here? right on. See someone say hello to Shandy. Brazil. Brazil. Shandy, where are you? Well, anyway. Yes. Well, every anyway, I heard sure from it. again. So, yes. Uh, and and when we reach out for questions again, every continent heard from, new states heard mm -hmm. from. So you know, yeah. um, why don't we just dive into a few of these questions as people continue to sure. in their green. All right. So the first one is from Francesca mm -hmm. in Italy, and she wants to know how was your little break that you just took. Wow. We, well, the break was fantastic. We had a wonderful time spending together um, as a family uh, uh, with, with Miss Cindy, who came as part of the family. But, yes, um, a part of the family, definitely. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, it, was, it was nice to unplug and just spend time together. It's the best time that we've had as a family in, I know I'm saying family a lot, but um, in, in a long time. A long time. A long, long time. Yeah. And it was, you know, it was crazy. We had this, you know, we had a houseboat, which is what I was driving. I've never been in a houseboat. Yeah. Uh, so it was kind of fun trying to get out there and actually drive a houseboat. Yeah. Uh, they don't go very fast, but uh, yeah, they're, they're a little tricky. Yeah, definitely. Definitely tricky because they're is, kind of big. What's the game you play in the card game? Um, Fall, gear or something? I don't know. Oh, on, I play on one of these, Xbox, yeah. he plays like a race game and it's all about the drift and he's like got an excellent drift. So thankfully that came into play on the houseboat. I was literally just, I was drifts. turning the wheel on. 
It was great. It was a wonderful holiday and a great way for us to be able to celebrate and be somewhere beautiful and do it safely and, you know, and still, you know, have fun. Yeah. That, yeah. Was, a, that we, was actually we, a good we were like, People did write back and say, okay, 600 yards. safe there. So, yes, we were. That's an important thing. To yeah, we are 600 yeah. yards away from anybody else. That's uh, right. And, yeah, and it's just on a lake, but this beautiful lake that has a lot of different coves and has a, a couple of rivers and creeks that come yeah. out of it, and you can get down these little channels. It's, it feels a lot like, we were saying it's kind of the BVI, it's like, which yeah. is crazy because it's a lake, but it's yeah. super clear, pristine lake and all this stuff. So it was just nice because we had our... We had like two little coves to ourselves. Nobody yeah. would pull up. I had this little bass boat because I love to fish. And so I would park it on the other side. Yes, I was double parking, basically. I double parked. It's but everybody, spot. yeah, because we had a friend. We did, had some people that are on the, on the lake that we know that are really close to us that were also coming over and, and you know, on their boat, staying on their cove. And we were exactly. in our cove. And then, exactly. you know, but we were able to kind of, you know, catch up with them. And they were helping out a lot, too. Because yes. Noah got an ear infection in the middle of that whole thing. Noah got an ear infection. Yeah. And, you know. He was super bummed about that. Yeah. But he did He did really good. He was a champ. He was a champ. Um, he was yeah. a champ. We, we had, we had really a blast. Hard. It was just nice to focus on, on the family for a few days. And it was only really a few days that we were gone. But, yeah. um, you know, and we saw this amazing uh, um, fireworks show, which was brilliant. Because you sit on your own boat. And there's all these boats out in the water just spread out. You know, and uh, so we got to sit on the boat and we weren't, we got a really good spot for that too. Yeah. So I guess I triple parked. Yeah. I triple parked. It was, uh, it to was... hold a spot. And then we went out and we got to sit there. And that was, that's always incredible, you know, because it's not just about the colors and all that stuff. For me, it's like, you know, it, it's, it's patriotism. And... Well, it's, but it's also like just remembrance too, you know. Um, so that was really special kind of having a moment about yeah. Papa and, yeah. and stuff. So Remember. got a little teary, yeah, a little teary eyed, but it was, it was, it was a nice time. It was. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you for asking Francesca, but I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes. From Here's Italy. a little fun one for you guys. This is from Vicki in Akron, Ohio. And she wants to know what your favorite Saturday morning cartoon was as a kid. Oh, um, okay. That man, is, and that's what a, was the name again? Vic, Vicki from Akron, Ohio. Oh, right Vicky. on Akron, Ohio. Um, Not too far away, by the way. That's um, hard to nail down because we had um, GI Joe, Shira, even even um, Garfield. I'm not... Like I'm trying to think of like GI Joe. Okay, so one, one of my favorites, and this is gonna totally date me, but that's fine. Um, was there was a show that was called Snorks. Oh my God! Yes, the and blue guys I, the they were like you know the Smurfs underwater. Yeah, Smurfs were great. And I loved that show. That was yeah. one of my hands down like go to favorites. Like that was a good one. It really Smurfs was a good one. It really was. was it's like it's like now it's like with our kids. It's, it's like they still watch Teen Titans Go, right? Oh, they love it. Like I that's love their Teen go. Titans go. I do I too. I sit there and watch it all the time with them. But yeah. yeah, it's really funny. But yes, that was kind of their go-to. This... Snorks was a good one. Snorks was mine. Yeah. Uh, if I had to nail it down, I don't know. It might it might have been G.I. Joe, to be honest, because my I know my brother really loved that show and it was really? kind of like, yeah. Come I on. really No, I'm serious. Your brother loved that show. What did you love? He did. He loved that show. Um, you like Yogi I Bear? Love... No. Jetsons? No. I really wasn't a fan. I did love Garfield, though. Garfield was a big one for me. Okay. Garfield. Very good. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right, Nathan. Shira. <laughs> Alvin the Chipmunks. <laughs> All right. No. Nathan, Alvin here is one Simon. for you. Do you do? Do, 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 do. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Pay attention to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, <laughs> ADD. Sorry. I can't help it. I'm just teasing. Okay, so Nathan, this one is for you. <laughs> Um, and it's from Kira All right. in South Africa, Cape Town, South Africa. And she would like to know what advice you would give to a young aspiring musician. Mm, Kira in South Africa. First off, lovely name. Beautiful city. Dark, um, Dark Crystal, love it, Kira. Okay. Um, okay, so aspiring. Well, okay, you know what's interesting? It's funny that, that this is being asked right now because I had... Uh, taken my daughter Aniston and uh, we we went out to go pick up um, some some food for uh, part of our brunch that we were doing at this like very famous cafe here and we got some biscuits or something like that I think 
but there was a young girl uh, that was out playing, um, you know, obviously being paid to play there. And um, she was like, her heart was in the right place and she was doing an amazing job. Um, but there were moments too where, you know, and, and she was pouring her heart out, which was the beauty, the beautiful thing to do, you know, um, at the same time, there were just certain things where, you know, when she was playing, it was like, if I was going to give her some advice, you know, cause she has all that, that drive and everything and that passion, which is amazing. But there was definitely a bit of where she, she probably could have honed in her craft a little more and she's young. So that makes sense. So I'm not I, at all by no means saying, you know, I mean like not ragging on the girl and cause she was great, but, I think, you know, putting the time in, um, and I know for myself, you know, it was something that I related back to because when I was, you know, first starting out and stuff, um, you know, I really wasn't putting in the time. It was going into the studio when I started doing, um, you know, the Crazy Beautiful EP and all that. And it was working with Jordan Wright that, that Jordan's work ethic is insane, you know, and he really got me, he goes, look, you got a great vocal, but you, you've got to put time in. You know, and so he was practice and practice and practice. And you don't have to put hours upon hours upon hours. The best way to practice, actually, there's a great method for guitar. It's called the TAC method. You can look it up, T-A-C. And yes, it's, you have to be part of like a little membership and all that stuff, but it is so worth it. It's better than going to YouTube and just trying to learn that this guy has figured out a way to really take anybody from beginning uh, that beginner status, when you just picked up a guitar, within a week you'd be playing the blues, you'd be playing a lot of different things, and he does it in a real fun way. And the idea between, behind TAC is that you spend only 10 minutes, five minutes in a warm up, and then 10 minutes working on one specific thing every single day. And, and every day of the week is something different. And I think that that's one of the biggest things, because as a musician, I'm sure as you know, Kira, like, it's so easy to, you want to just start to write and you want to start to play no matter how good you are. It's like, you do have to kind of balance that and put the time in um, to get better because the more you're able to work on your craft and hone it in and learn different voicings. Like I love open voice, you know, core voicings. It's one of my favorite things, especially if I'm playing solo on acoustic, right? It's just, it just, it's so full, you know? Um, but even picking patterns, stuff like that and working on those things is so important because it'll open you up and open for you when you start to write and you are inspired to write, you won't feel the limitations that you can't do it. So I sit down now, um, you know, I, I always used to fill around on the, on the piano and I can get through and play some stuff pretty well. But I realized as I started writing, I've been writing a lot lately and I just, I'll sit at the piano. And what I did is I went back and started working through all my scales again and doing all the mundane things that you don't really want to do. But I've seen already how it's, it's like, you know, helped me to transform into a better songwriter simply just by having, you know, more, um, more tools to use, right. And feel the freedom and not have to think, wait, can I do that? Can I do this? You know? And so, Taking the time to do that is so important. And I really do for anybody that's just playing guitar and like, I get nothing for this. There is no sponsor here. I do it. I pay this, the, you know, to be a part of this, this membership, but it's fantastic. Just look up the TAC method, T-A-C. I'm telling you, it'll revolutionize if you are just starting out or even if you're an amazing player, it'll take you into uh, a vast knowledge of music from world music. So like John Gon Reinhardt to, you know, uh, all, you know, pop music and, and yeah. And um, just across the board, R&B, everything. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and Into the Blues, which I just absolutely love because it's at the core of a lot of music that we do today. So that would be That's my- That's good. You got a lot of comments saying this is really helpful. Thank you. Yes, check it, check it out. I know you can get a free membership too, but just check it out. TAC, just look up TAC. I can't, I don't know the exact site, but TAC method, I'm telling you, hands down, best thing you can do for yourself. That's one of them. So practice, practice, practice. So that's kind of a nice lead into another question. This one's from Soraya in the UK, who wants to know, do you plan on making any more songs together? Ha, 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 ha. Well, you said Soraya, right? Yes. From the UK. Name. That is, too. Well, that's a pretty um, Yes, absolutely. Um, all the lovely people. Mm -hmm. oh, that's very nice. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. 
I said lovely, not lovely. You see what I did there? I did. Yeah, I, I, I nailed it. There. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about that? I don't know. I mean, I think we have to like really figure out on how to work together better. You know what I mean? I don't know if the like, chemistry's there yet. I think we got to work on harmonies. And okay, like that. shoot it straight. Come on. What have we been talking about? Um, yes, we actually have been talking a lot about doing music together and um, kind of venturing out into uh, a new kind of genre. Genre. And um, so that's been. We've been really inspired um, lately, just listening to music and. Um, well, we've been playing and singing together. I mean, we love. We love. I mean, look. Obviously, we have two different, uh, you know, careers. But we would love nothing more. You know, we first started out. We met together doing a TV show together. You know, and, and we don't feel like we've ever really had that chance. Although we have worked together, and it's been amazing every time we have. Um, you know, we haven't really had a chance to work together like we want to kind of over a longer period of time. And in so, our own terms. Yeah, in our own terms. And so, and, and we've kind of put in the time and, and everything to be able to do that now. And so, yes, we are, we are working on and exploring, um, putting together an EP um, that we will put out uh, together. Mm -hmm. So, and that will coincide with uh, a lot of new music that I have. I have, uh, you know, for EOE as well, which of course she'll be, you know, definitely a part of. Um, yeah. so no dates yet, no promises yet, as far as like it's coming though, we're working like on it, yeah. yeah. So, but yes, please know that that is definitely uh in the works. I, I mean, I do have a plan that though, I will say that I do have um, you know, I'm sitting on some songs and stuff that I really need to kind of go through and, and get out there, um, to, to all of you because you know, it's, it's like put the time in. And one of the, my favorite things as an artist is when you get to release a new song and to you know, see the reactions and see people connect to it. And it's just so important. You know how I feel about music. It's medicine for the soul. And, and I love connecting with all of you. And I think so uh, I am gearing up to to release here in September some stuff. You're going to love it. Oh, my God. Yeah, love some it. really cool songs. And, uh, and I think that project will follow. Right. Yeah, that's what we're kind of looking at. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. Hence why I said there's no, you know, we got we've got your music and amazing stuff to come out, guys. Yes. You have no idea. So more music coming, definitely yes. September, and it will be out. So. Yes. All right. Yes. I think we've got time for a couple more questions, because I know there's some other things that you want to talk about. Um, well, Kyler, here's one for yeah. you. This is from Amy in Japan, and she wants to know if you have a life motto. Oh. Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. Um, we know Amy. If I, yes, we do. Um, yes, we do. If I have a life motto... I would say, I don't have like a quote, I don't think necessarily, but just, mm, what's a Come good on. one? No, I'm trying, on. to think, yeah. I'm trying to think of something. Well, you know, basically, it's like, look, and maybe it'll segue into, you know, our, our life, but life happens, <laughs> change happens all the time. And I think the, the better you can understand yourself, the more you can, you know, really spend time, take time learning who you are, um, you can better be prepared for how, I know you've said this before, but how, you know, often, but how you can handle and respond to things. But it's, you know, learning who you are, finding your voice. It's a continual journey. Um, so just be open to, discovering new depths and finding, you know, taking on challenges um, to, to really figure out who it is that you are and what you want. And I think from there, you know, you can really kind of tackle what life can throw at you. So there's a lot of curveballs that can come and that's not a discouraging thing. I hope it doesn't sound discouraging, but you know, I want it to be more of a focus on you because, you know, loving yourself is, can be hard to do but it's so, so important. Um, so keep looking forward, keep looking inward, and it's just gonna keep you moving and growing and being your best self. And when you're your best self for you, you can be your best self for those around you and your community. And um, I don't wanna like sound like we're reading off of our Create Change page, but that's how you create change in the world. So love yourself, know yourself, know thyself. There you go. 
from the matrix. I can't think of what it was that was above her, the oracle's door. I can't think of the word, but it says, know thyself. There you go. That's my motto. <laughs> there you know go. thyself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So here's that. I'm the queen of long-winded ways of saying things. Oh, no, sorry. No, you guys are both, you're both, you're both very wise. So, All right. Well, here's kind of like our final question then. Again, I know we have some other things to cover. This is from Valerie in Chicago, Illinois. And she said, I'm a teacher and a mom of two four-year-olds. The two of you also oh, have kids and demanding careers in addition to running this organization. How do you manage work-life balance? How do you make time for activism and philanthropy with everything else that you've got going on? And that was Valerie, correct? Yes. Well, thank you, Valerie. First yes. off, congrats on two lovely kids. I'm yes. sure two to two and four, and that's an interesting time, obviously, as I'm sure you would know. But also being a teacher and stuff, I mean, just kind of applaud you. Like, seriously, just, that's a beautiful thing. Um, to be able to, to pour into the lives, not only of your kids, but to so many others, you know, and, and that is such a key role in the world, you know, and I think sometimes it's just way over, overlooked. Yeah. Um, and not, you know, sometimes overlooked under, and underappreciated. underappreciated. So we want you to know we see it and we appreciate it very much. Yes. So um, do you want to speak to this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Um, it's, it is definitely, like I had said uh, in my long-winded answer before, uh, a challenge. It is not an easy thing. Balance is not necessarily an easy thing. And sometimes it can seem impossible, but you know, when you have people in your life that can help you know, support you and, and pick you up, it can definitely make all the difference. Uh, home life, I mean, it's it's, Funny you should ask. It's been an interesting week um, for us. This past week was, uh, to be honest, I think one of the more. She's very tired and there's a reason behind it. So I think we'll, we'll kind of take this, uh, Valerie, we're going to answer this, but we're going to kind of segue a little bit because I think it's important. So uh, we had, you know, we, we went on that vacation and we, um, you know, came back and literally the next morning, um, Anison, our youngest, who's 11 right now, uh, you know, who had been, uh, she had, she, she's in the past, she's, she had epilepsy. And then she's been off her pills now for a while. We were able to take her off. And, and before that, before she had the one prior, and this is a whole thing, so I'll just kind of keep it short. Basically, she had a five year stretch without any seizures, and then she had a year and a half stretch without any seizures. Yeah, and, and, then, and then we ended up in the ER on Tuesday on night. Tuesday night, literally just got back. And that was, and, it, and it, that's a difficult one too, because there's everything going on with COVID and stuff. It's like I had, I went, Kyler couldn't I go because they won't allow more than one person in. Um, and, uh, and it was probably one of the most, the scarier. Seizure, seizures, seizures that she's had yeah. and she's had some pretty crazy ones but that one um you know she was paralyzed paralyzed uh, there's a like paralysis, paralysis you can get from seizures on her whole right side in her whole right side she couldn't move it um so it, that's you know it, it's, it's been a really trying week um and then she had her having to go back on medications and those medications you know they all have these side effects that uh can be very difficult and so you know and, and of course it's your little girl you know yeah it's your child so um you know you can't plan for those things they happen and we thought we were past it you know and so that we kind of took a big blow this week you know yeah, on that but you know we have this amazing family you know? and she's doing much better now she's she is. she's doing much better she's still you know, when you have those big seizures like that, um, it takes a little bit to kind of get your equilibrium back. And, you know, again, we are starting her on a new medicine. So, but she's doing much better. Yeah. I mean, it's like every night. I don't think you, either of us really slept in the same bed. Yeah. Because it's One like, of us is with her. you know, sleeping bag on the floor just in case, or, you know, I fell asleep the other day on the couch there, you know, holding her hand and just, and just trying to be there. So it's, it's difficult. Um, you know, and, it, and it, there's a lot of challenges that come with obviously raising kids and then wanting to, finding time, I think Valerie is one of the hardest things, you know, um, and, you know, I think that's something that you have to realize 
that you could be pushing forward ahead, full steam, things to be so like in place and everything's working and, and you feel like you finally found that balance maybe, you know, to deal with the little, the small things that happen, the surprises that happen every day um, with having little ones. Uh, but then, you know, when it comes down to it, then you have these bigger moments, these bigger challenges that come along and surprise you. Curveball. Curveball, yeah. And you have to pivot, you know. Um, and the most important thing is that, you know, family first. That's something that Kyler and I have always been about. And it's been amazing because as she's been on Supergirl and, and any show, even the Grey's Anatomy, she was doing that as well. And that's, we were going through a lot with Anderson on that one. Um, you know, still trying to figure out how to get her the right medications and having terrible seizures. I mean, she had 17, yeah, 17 in one year. Yeah, this um, was her 20th. No, was her, yeah. So it, it just, you know, you have to, she did a great job of informing her colleagues and, you know, her peers at work, her colleagues, and, and also obviously her, her producers and stuff to, uh, hey, when this happens, I'm, I'm out. Like there there's, go. you know, and, and uh, they were so accommodating of that. Um, and so, you know, you can only plan for so much of it. Um, so when it comes down to it, when those moments do hit, it's okay to take a step back because the most important legacy you have is that of those two kids in your house. Right. And so as much as we want to be as you know, activists and doing all this stuff and what we're doing here with create change, I think the most important thing, you know, at the end of the day is those two little ones in your house. And I'm sure you know that as a mother, I'm sure you're an amazing mother. And I know it's a frustrating thing too. It gets very frustrating, you know, and it doesn't, you think it's going to end. They, people always say, oh, the terrible twos. And then it's like, oh, whatever, the terrible threes. And troubles and threes. And troubles and threes. And it goes on and on. And then it's like, well, I'll tell you right now, we got an almost 17 year old son. We've got a 13 year old daughter. Almost and we've got, 14, yeah, yeah, almost 14 and in a couple months. Yeah. And then we have a, an 11 year old daughter. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, it doesn't, I don't think there's any one moment you're not going to feel that challenge or that pressure. Um, to be that super mom that you, I, I know you are. And so the most important thing is to, if anything, is take time for yourself when you can. Because a lot of times being a working mom, and of course, if you're, you know, the, the philanthropic side of things and an activist, um, you want to speak to it? No, I'm just, no, 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 continue. I was going to say, just, you know, when it comes down to it, um, you know, you have to, it's hard to find time for yourself. You know, yeah. and Kyler would come home from work and it was like, I would sit there and go, hey, we got to, you know, like, don't worry about the dishes. Don't worry about, she would immediately feel you guilty. Feel guilty, yeah. Especially being gone and being a mom. And it's like, you know, it's, it's a, it's a role where, not for everybody, not everybody feels the same way, but I know for myself, you know, I, I, um, I have a hard time. I love what I do. I really do love what I do. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for my job and everything that it's given me and, and all of our community that it's helped, you know, us be a part of and, and, and whatnot. But, you know, it's still hard because, you know, you go, you're gone, you miss all the little moments, you miss the big moments sometimes. And it makes it challenging because sometimes I feel like I'm not fulfilling my duty as mom. But mom nowadays looks very different. And that's what's actually really amazing about it is that it can be anything. It can look like anything. So long as you're pouring, you know, that, that dedication and love and inspiration into your child, as long as you're letting them know that they're worth everything in the world and that, you know, they are loved beyond measure, then when you can do that, you know, even if a relationship is strained, and I know how that goes too, you know, best you can do is just love. It's just love them. Yeah, and, and, and put them going. first. Put them first, and and yourself as well. It's important because yeah. if you're if you're depleted, <laughs> trying and then trying to be there for them, that's a very that's difficult true. place. Yeah, it's it's like you're not gonna. You want to be your best for them, so you got to take. You got to really put yourself in that first position, which is a part of family first. You know, you being healthy. You know, in your mind, in your spirit. You know, in your body, taking care of yourself. Um, it, it's it's kind of like what you were saying when we were doing the thing with the QFX about putting on your mask first on the airplane, the oxygen, mask, oxygen yeah. mask, you know, before helping others. It really is important. It's a great, it's, it's a great, you know, metaphor for like, you know, as parents, that's what we have to do. We have to take care of ourselves. Which or isn't we're your be natural instinct. No, of course not. It isn't. You know, 
Um, so that's, that's really important, you know, and just being willing to pivot, get really good at pivoting. Yeah. That's the one thing too. And again, if you put family first, you know, that that's what matters the most, you know, um, that's going to set you up for a win, no matter what comes your way. And because you'll have a lot of surprises along the way. Um, uh, but definitely put yourself first in your family as well, it, you know, no matter what. And I think that's something too, I wanted to actually speak about this today is we we're going through this amazing time, you know, last week's to-do list was incredible. Um, you know, so many awesome recipes and, and, you know, what we're trying to do is trying to uh, give all of you and our community an opportunity to speak to, you know, who you are, because we feel that when it comes down to injustice and inequality, one of the biggest issues is that is a lack of understanding. Yeah. Right. Or a lack of awareness and understanding of, you know, di the different cultures and how the differences that we do have, which make us all unique. And so, you know, our focus has been on, all right, well, let's look at the cultural diversity. Let's understand our community more so we can help each other with it. Um, and by better knowing who you are, we can then start to really look to, to solve the problems that we see in the world. But we got to understand everybody. You can't come from an American point of view. can't come from a European point of view. can't come, you know, it's got to come from a generalized, we're all human beings. Human point of view. Yeah, hu yeah humanity, you know. Yeah. And, and so, um, you know, and having our small team and stuff, again, kind of kicking back to this, what happened with us this last week with, with Aniston, um, you know, we realized we were just neck deep in trying to fulfill everything we want to do with the Citizen Creator Month. And uh, then also trying to take care of and, and pivot and deal with all this stuff with our daughter and trying to make sure she's safe and everything's okay. And of course, you're on edge after she has a seizure. You're not sure if it's going to happen again. You know, and, and after she, fevers, yeah, yeah, after yeah. seizures, they're, they're prone to having fevers for a few days. And so you're trying to deal with that. And I mean, I got to a point where I just kind of wigged out. I just, I just, you know, I just kind of lost it, you know, and because I was just like, it's just so much and it builds up on the inside. You can only be so strong. Yeah. And so for us, it was like, we need to take a moment here. And knowing that we have this amazing community and you all know how small our team is right now. Um, but, you know, we know there's a lot of love here too. And so for us, what I had talked about with the team, we all discussed was like, hey, why don't we just, this is per example, Valerie, <laughs> take a little step back. Let's extend the, you know, Citizen Creator Month uh, through August. And let's continue to get to know our community and continue to pass the mic. Allow you guys will continue to do these, you know, to-do lists. Because uh, there's so many amazing submissions that came in just for that, like ideas and stuff. Yeah. There's a ton of them. Really and then cool we've gotten fun. so many amazing submissions, written submissions that have come in, you know, for different, you know, articles, essays, stuff, you know, artwork. And, and so we're trying to formulate, put all that together. And we're like, we need a little bit more time to pull that off. Yeah. And, and so we're going to just continue the to-do list. We have our modern icon coming out, which is incredible. Um, I think mine's up first for EOE. And it's going to take... The, the community and everything uh, and our Create Change website to a whole nother level because um, it's going to be more of a personalized interaction, you know. So definitely make sure you're a member because you want to be a part of this. And those who are the premium and VIPs also, there's going to be other opportunities for you to be involved in an even more, uh, you know, closer knit way as well. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody's going to get a chance to um, be, it's going to be very interactive. We'll, we'll say that much. Um, I will tell you one thing I'm very excited about because I know a lot of um, a lot of people have asked me about you know um, like tutorials or you know lyrics or how to oh, play yeah. and so this week when it does come out we're planning on it coming out on Wednesday obviously that's when it's scheduled to come out on the 15th with everything that's gone on I will be honest with you and tell you that um, I, our hope is that we can still make it by then. Um, but it did put me back on trying to get some of the assets and stuff that I need to get over there to Angelo to get it done. So it might be Thursday, it might be Friday. It will definitely happen this week. Um, but we want to make sure it's done right and the quality is there and the, with excellence. And so, um, but in that, and I'm blabbing, here I go on the roll for like, what, 10 minutes now? I wanted to round this out. I'm very excited about it in the sense that um, I can't wait to interact with all of you on it. Um, there's some really cool things that we're adding into 
that aspect that's going to make it really easy for all of us to interact with through the comment section and stuff. But also I did as one of my things, I did end up doing a tutorial to show you how I play nowhere. Um, I've laid out all the chords, the lyrics, and I'm working on finalizing the tutorial video um, to show you all how to play it. So what, and the great thing about it is whether you are a beginner, it doesn't matter. You're going to sound like a pro because, you know, it, it's all open chord voicings and it's, it, it's such a beautiful way to play it. You'll learn some really cool new chords, but I'm excited to get some responses and see people putting up some videos showing me, you know, you playing it down and doing it your way. And I will say one thing, and I'll talk about this more. <laughs> Last thing, I promise, I promise. But um, make it your own. Yeah. You know, if you feel like you want to follow it along, follow it along the way it's played, but you might find a different rhythm or something that works for you. And if you even listen to how I did the acoustic version versus the actual version that I play when we, we have the full band and everything, I've actually changed it up slightly. The picking pattern. The nuances, yeah. Yeah, because I wanted it to be a, a stand on its own that performance versus the actual full performance. So um, I can't wait. And now I'm done. I'm so excited about that. I hope this all makes sense to all of you. I think so. You think? I think so. Look how tired she looks. I She's, know. this is a super mom right here. Yes, she is. Mm. You're Just super like you, dead. Valerie. You guys, you guys have been rock stars this last week. I can tell you as having seen it from behind the scenes, I know how much love and heart you put into your family and into this organization. And yeah, I think it is a good opportunity for us to just take a little breather here and realize that we have such an awesome community. We see that every week with the amount of questions that come in. Yes. And my goodness, the responses to the to-do list and the Feeling Good Fridays are just mm -hmm. overwhelming. And um, so yeah, we're all in this together and you've got unconditional support. Uh, because I'll tell you what guys, again, from behind the scenes seeing Nathan's and then hearing a little bit about Kyler's idea about her modern icon. I won't say anything, but boy, guys, these, and then Angelo's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a yeah. lot of fun and a lot That's of interactions. Right. So get ready. That's make right. sure you're logged in. Make sure you, you're registered as a, as a free member or, you know, whatever. Just make sure you're a member because you're going to want to be a part of this. It's going to be so much fun. And this is going to be kind of on a weekly basis. There'll be things happening yeah. where we can all interact, mm -hmm. um, you know, on the site, which is going to be super cool. Yeah. yeah. Super cool. Super Like cool. super cool mom. That's right. That you are. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. I do my best. And we have a to-do list coming up, obviously, tomorrow. We do. I won't say what it is, but Cindy, I am excited about that one, too. Yep, yep, yep. Put on your thinking caps. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's going to be good. And I do want a big shout out to Angelo. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and to my mother. Yep. Um, both have been working so hard behind the scenes yeah. on so many different aspects of great change. And, you know, I know they're not on here on these lives all the time. Um, you know, we plan on doing some more panel stuff with just within the great change community and stuff soon. Um, but, you know, it's important to acknowledge that they both uh, have just are working Bless so yeah they're working so hard uh, on behalf of all of you so want you to remember that because they love you tremendously they love our community they love what we're doing at create change and you know obviously cindy you're doing so much as well but you know just speaking for the two that aren't on here right mm -hmm. now yep. uh, it's just important to recognize them and yes. give them a Round of applause. Yeah. I wish there was like a, like a radio DJ and you could have all those like sound effects, you know, you could buttons. We can make something. that happen. We could, and there's okay. an app for that, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll, fig we'll figure it out. But No, I agree. We're excited. Hey, you got to make this a great week, okay? Let's, yes. let's, you know, I know it's a lot going on in the world. Um, and, you know, again, there might be things that have happened with you this week, you know, surprises, you know, there's kind of one around every, you know, corner. And that's why I always say, look, you can't, you know, you can't always control what the world throws at you, but you can control how you respond. And, you know, when I did have my little freak out, I was like, okay. You know, because I'm on a journey of change too, right? I don't do it perfect. I'm not some kind of mentor dude or like, you know, like personal motivation guy or anything. I'm like, I, I'm real. I make mistakes and I didn't, you know, wasn't towards anybody, but it was, I needed to deal with myself, you know? And I had this loving family around me that allowed me that space to do that. And once I was able to kind of gather my thoughts again and, and calm myself down, I realized I, that that thought came in my head. 
look, you can't control, Nathan. You've got to take a dose of your own medicine. You cannot control everything that's thrown at you in the world. But you can't control your spawn. How your spawn makes all the difference. That's right. And so we got back on track. And, and we've been, it's just been, it has been really good, although it's been challenging, but it's been good, you know? It has. So do yourself a favor, do us all a favor, do the world a favor, and take this moment right now, Motivation Monday, all right, in July. What day is it? 13th? 12th? Yes. It 13th. is the 13th. 13th. Perfect. And no matter where you've been, what you've been through the last week or yesterday or even this morning, today, right now, is a new start. You can start, start again. Sorry. Um, you can start again right here, right now. And let's make this an, an incredible week and yes. join us for our to-do list tomorrow. And uh, we'll continue to, you know, and check out the Modern Icon page. When it does go live, we'll let you all know that it's going live. You'll see that coming through. But join us in the journey of change and just continue to walk this out one day at a time, one moment at a time. All right? Yes. And we'll continue to move forward, onwards and upwards. That's right. High fives around the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we love you all. We love you guys. Thank you for, for being here with us again and putting up with our silliness. And on this upcoming Monday, I'm going to throw down. Even if she's still kind of feeling a little... Well, this coming Monday... What? We better sing together. Next Monday? Oh, yeah, oh you mean our Monday. anniversary? Yeah. That's a big our day. Our 19th wedding anniversary <laughs> is next Monday. It, so we what? Now, better. that's a motivation Monday for you. How about... Yeah. And you know what's crazy? I never get to going. be... I, we haven't been together on our wedding anniversary in I don't know how many years. I mean, years. We didn't celebrate yeah. our 15th wedding anniversary together. We didn't get to celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary together. Because that typically is when, and I'm, I know San Diego Comic Con, I'm sorry. But I, at the same time, I've got to take a selfish moment, a selfish moment. Um, I'm just excited to actually have, to be able to be together. Yeah. And, you know, we're just going to go out in the backyard and roast some marshmallows because we can't really go anywhere. So, you know, but it'll be, it's just going to be great together. to have you here. We'll be together. So we'll, we'll play down gonna, some songs on, on Monday. Yes. And we will do the bonfire and we will have marshmallows and graham crackers and chocolates because here's the s'more years, s'mores years together. Oh, wow. <laughs> I tried wow. and I failed. <laughs> no, that was not a fail. That is beautiful. That's that was beautiful. good. <laughs> Hashtag s'more years together. I love that. Oh, no. All right, so on Monday, oh, we're going to use that hashtag, like, nonstop. You guys can all Some join us. more it. years together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she is definitely tired. I'm tired. I love it. Thanks, babe. Um. <laughs> all right, go get some sleep. We love you all. Anyways. Yeah, have a great week. And we'll see you this week on the to-do list. And let's keep rocking. Thank you for all the lovely questions. We love you yes. all so very much. And right. we will see you here uh, next Monday as well. All Jeez. right, guys. Bye-bye. Hashtag. -bye. <laughs> we lost our minds. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. There we go. I'm leaving. Hi.